In It Together is brought to you by the Ministry of Education and UNICEF. Good morning. Today is the umpteenth day since our classrooms have been closed. That means we haven't been able to share snacks at school. We haven't been able to play sports and really the hardest part has probably been being apart from each other. Yeah, doing my work from home is not really tough. Listening to radio programs and keeping up with teachers through WhatsApp is all right, but I also miss my friends. Well, we have great news to announce. With this special TV program dedicated to us kids, we can be in it together. Our friends can all tune in at the same time, learn about the zoo, drawing, and other cool things, and we can share our progress with each other. Social distancing may have us apart, but virtual learning is bringing us together. Let's jump on into what is ahead for us today. In it together! We kick off this morning with Animal of the Day. In Belize, we can boast that we have the best little zoo in the world. And so, let's visit our Belize Zoo virtually to learn about our unique Animal of the Day. There is no need to debate. Belize has the best little zoo in the world. With over 200 animals, and they're all kept in their natural habitat. Since forever, taking a trip to this zoo meant physically coming here. But I'm here to make your job easier. I'm Daniil, and I'll be bringing an animal a day to your living room. We will learn what they eat, how big or small they grow, and all the little features that makes them special. I am a dog lover, but being a mommy to a dog does not count. So joining me will be actual zookeepers who take care of these animals daily. Now, grab your notepad and be sure to allow your little brother and sister to join you, as we will be having lots of fun and adventures right here at the Belize Zoo. Hey guys, I'm Danila, and we're back at the zoo to give you guys another informative lesson for animal of the day. Now, today we have a cool idea. We'll be spinning a wheel to see which animal we'll do today. I'll get one chance to spin the wheel, and whichever animal it stops at, that's going to be the animal that we're going to do today. So, are you guys ready for me to spin the wheel? Ready? Let's go. Wow, it stopped on a holler monkey. It's time for us to go and hear these loud monkeys. Hey guys, so we are at the holler monkey exhibit right here at the zoo. If you look carefully, you'll be able to see some holler monkeys right up above me. So the holler monkey's scientific name is the Alauta pigra, but in Belize, we refer to them as baboons. These animals can be found in Central and South America. In Belize, these monkeys frequent the river valley area in villages such as Bermuda Landing or Doublehead Cabbage, just to name a few. Howler monkeys are herbivores, meaning that they don't eat meat. They feed on leaves from trees and vines. They enjoy flowers and tropical fruit. These are one of the largest New World monkeys, being two plus feet in length and weighing 15 to 20 pounds. These monkeys live long lives surviving up to 20 years. Interesting to know is that these animals only give birth to one little monkey after a period of 180 days. These monkeys mature after age four. Hey guys, look who we have here. It's zookeeper, Mr. Hase Kopp. How are you doing today, Mr. Hase? I'm doing pretty much okay. You're fine? Yes, I am. So Mr. Hase, can you tell our viewers all about yourself? How long have you been at the zoo and what animals do you take care of here? Well, I'll be completing a year this month and I'm working with the mammals. Oh wow, so you take care of the... The holder monkeys and the spider monkey and the list goes on. Great, there's a lot of mammals yes, here at the zoo. Lot. So you have a tough job. Basically, yeah, but I enjoy working here. That's nice. So, can you tell us now specifically about the holler monkeys? How much of them do we have here at the zoo? Well, on this side, we have a total of 10 holler monkeys. 
Yep. And so we have different groups? Yes, we, we do. Over this side, we have uh, um, two brothers and a sister, and on this side, we have an entire family. Oh, wow. Yes. So we space them out because men, at least the mature Holler Monkey men, tend to be very aggressive. Yes, Is that they, so? yes that's right. Oh, wow. So we have a boss over here, a boss over yes, there. Yes, correct. Good. And how do these monkeys end up at the zoo? Well, most of our animals end up here, especially with the monkeys, most of them are, are pets. And there's a few, one and two of them, just been donated because they were, they were rescued. Okay. Yes, that's, that's how we get our animals here. So people have howler monkeys as pets? Yes, they do. These loud monkeys? Yes, they have them home as pets. Wow. So, how do you guys care for these animals here at the zoo? What do you guys feed them? Well, here we give them a lot of vegetables, we give them a lot of fruits, and they love it. We give them as much food as they could get and they live a happy life here. That's good to know. So, these animals are really loud. Yes, Is that distracting when you guys are here having to deal with all the other animals? How do all the other animals react to their noise? Well, they love it. It's not a problem. Everybody get along. <laughs> yes, everybody do get along. Great, so can you give me one fun fact about the holler monkeys? Fun fact about the holler monkey is that as small as how they look, but they are the third loudest animal in the world. And we should be very thankful that we have them here in Belize. The black holler monkey is an endangered species. In Belize, there is a project called the Community Baboon Sanctuary, and it is located in Bermuda Landing. This originated when a group of small Belizean villages in the Belize River Valley area came together to protect the holler monkeys that reside there. This was created in 1985 and founded by primatologist Dr. Robert Horwich. Well, that specific troop of monkeys that, that we visited, it took us years to gain this type of relationship with them. It took us at least about, say, 18 years to gain this close interaction with monkeys. Male also reaches uh, maturity within the age of six to eight. Female reaches maturity also within the age of three to four. Troop also ranges from two up to 11. And even with families, they live so close with their monkeys. Although they are noisy, they live very close with them. We have a very close relationship because nothing they produce on the farm. The monkey uses food, so we have a very close relationship with our monkeys. When they started it, they asked us to leave like small strips of forest within proper to boundaries for them, so they form a corridor so they can move from one area to another. Even the whole village benefited from true tourism, which is one of our goals, causing us to create this community problem sanctuary, which is functioning from 1981 up to now. And for me, every day it makes a better thing for me. And even for the villagers, even the people who visit us, enjoy our monkeys to the fullest. The reason why we felt all this love for these monkeys is due to the fact, as you can see, the monkeys bring visitors from all different walks of life. The Community Baboon Sanctuary, along with the Black Hollow Monkeys, are the heart of Belize. I hope you enjoyed spending your time with me, because I definitely enjoyed spending my time with you. 
The Belize Way is open on weekends from 9 a.m. through to 4 p.m. Be sure to ask your parents to bring you over so you can see all the amazing animals in person. Be sure to send us a picture with you and your favorite animal or with you at the Belize Zoo. You can comment them under today's episode at In It Together Belize on Facebook or you can email them to us at inittogetherbz at gmail.com. And remember, the more you read, the more you'll know. And the more you learn, the more places you'll go. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you again on another episode of Animal of the Day. That was really fun, but we will take a little commercial break and then we will return with some artsy fun. I suggest that you quickly gather a paper to draw on and some crayons or markers if you want to be part of the fun. We will take a quick break now so you have time to get your materials. Welcome back to In It Together. Have you heard about Pen Caetano or Yasir Musa? They are Belizeans who are famous because of their awesome art over the years. They started art when they were our age. Maybe we can become legends too, especially with the help of Miss Jazz, who will now guide us through Let's Draw. Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Draw where I teach you guys how to draw the coolest things. Of course, today, again, I'm here with another helper. Today I'm with... Georgiana. AKA Gigi. And today we are going to draw her favorite character. And what is that, Gigi? SpongeBob. Correct, that is SpongeBob. And why do you love SpongeBob? Because he's just like, he just has like this great energy. Uh -huh. And he's like a vibe, you know? Uh -huh. So Spongebob is her favorite show, guys. That's her happy show. And I love Spongebob as well. I grew up watching Spongebob and it is still around. So I'm so happy to be drawing that today. And as usual, guys, what you'll be needing is your pencil to draw with, your marker to trace, something to draw on, and something to color with, okay? Ready, Gigi? Yep. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're gonna start out with Spongebob's body first, which is a large square. So we're gonna come here and we're just gonna draw one line first. Then the other. And then we're gonna go right up and complete our square. Okay, now we're gonna come here and draw one straight line across. Now we're gonna put in his trousers, okay? And for that, we're gonna do one rectangle here and we're gonna do another far apart. Next, we're gonna put in his shirt sleeves. And for that, we're just gonna do two triangular shapes. We're gonna come with one line here, and then we're gonna do the other one, not straight across, but at a diagonal angle, okay, guys? Same thing on the other side. Now, we know that SpongeBob isn't actually perfectly square. He has ridges and he has waves to give him his spongy look. So now we're gonna use these lines as our guide and we're gonna put in all our waves. So we're gonna come here and we're just gonna go in, out, in, out, all around. Don't worry if you're drawing on top of the line, that's actually what we want because we're gonna take our marker when we're done and just trace over our ridges, okay? right around and then close it back. There we go. Now we're gonna put in another straight line right across here to separate his shirt from his pants, okay? Now we're gonna do his necktie and for that we're gonna use three triangles. So we're gonna come here, one, this is one. Right beside it we're gonna do the second one. That's two. And then we're gonna do the third one, smaller, right in the middle, okay? And now to finish his necktie, we're gonna use a diamond shape. So that's gonna be four sides. We're gonna come here like we're gonna draw a triangle, and then we're gonna also do it like we're drawing another triangle underneath, but then we're gonna connect them. So all sides are connected. All right, perfect guys. Now we're gonna put in his loop, his belt loops. And that's gonna be four skinny rectangular shapes right here. So we're gonna one, two, 
three, four. Just like that. Perfect, everyone. Gigi, how is yours coming out? Uh, it's coming out good. You like it? Yeah. I think you're doing a good job and you're right there with me, okay guys? So remember, if I'm ever moving too fast, you can always go on Facebook with parental guidance and look for In It Together. All right guys, so now we're gonna do SpongeBob's arms and legs. So for his legs, we're gonna come here and put in one straight line and then another, but leave a little space at the bottom for his shoes, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Two straight lines coming right down with space for his shoes. Okay, now for his arms, we're gonna draw C's. So we're gonna come here, and we're gonna do one C, and then we're gonna do a larger C right after that. We're doing the same thing on the other side, except the C's are backwards. So one C, and then the second C. All right, there we go. And of course, we cannot forget SpongeBob's face. That's the most important part. So we're gonna draw SpongeBob eyes, which are two large circles, just like all the other characters that we've done so far. So you guys should be pros at drawing these circles now, okay? All right, so we're gonna start off with one. And then we're gonna do another one right beside it. Now we're gonna draw two more inside. We're gonna draw one right in the middle, a little smaller, and then we're gonna draw an even smaller one for his pupils, right in the center as well. Next, we're gonna draw his eyelashes, and for that, we're gonna draw three straight lines on each eye. So one, two, three. So one down the middle, and two at a diagonal angle. Next, we're gonna draw his nose, which is a U shape, right here in the center of his face. Perfect. Now we're gonna draw SpongeBob's huge smile. And for that, we're just gonna draw a curve, a large curve, actually, just like this. We're gonna come here and draw one C, and then we're gonna draw a backward C on the other side for his cheeks. Next, we're gonna put in three dots. So we're gonna come here, one, two, three. One, two, three. And of course, we're gonna draw his large teeth. All right, so one and two, because we usually only see two of SpongeBob's teeth when he smiles. There we go. And of course, SpongeBob is a sponge and we cannot forget his holes. So we're gonna draw some small and some large holes all over, not too many now, but you guys can go ahead and do as much as you want and you can make them any size that you want, okay? So I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna draw a large one here, a medium sized one here, and then a smaller one right here, a small one here, medium, and then a little smaller right there. And that's it, I'm done with that. All right guys, lastly we're gonna do his shoes. And for that, we're gonna draw a square shape right here at the bottom where his feet are on both sides. Then we're gonna draw an oval shape right inside of that. And lastly for his heels, we're gonna draw two little rectangular shapes right underneath. All right guys, so last but not least, we're gonna put in his socks, okay? And for his socks, we're just gonna do three straight lines, super, super simple. So we're gonna come here and do one, and then we're gonna do two more close together, just like that, one, two, three, and the same thing on the other side, one, and then two, three. There we go. All right, Gigi, so how is your drawing coming out? My one's going great. And are you having fun? Yep. And just like I tell you guys, the most important part is to make sure that you're having fun. Don't worry if your drawing is not coming out like my one, because practice makes perfect, okay? So are you ready, Gigi? Yes. We're gonna take our markers now, guys, and we're gonna trace our outline, okay? So let's get started. All 
All right, guys, so that is it for our tracing, and I think Gigi and I did a great job. I hope you guys did as well. So now for our next step, I actually want you guys to go ahead and get your eraser and to get rid of all your pencil markings before we color, okay? All right guys, so now is the super fun part that I know everyone loves, our coloring, all right? So Gigi and I are actually gonna go ahead and make SpongeBob yellow, as we all know that he is in the show. However, please feel free and you are encouraged to make him any color you want, even your favorite color. All right guys, so join us in this coloring. All right, guys, great, great job. So that is our SpongeBob drawing for today, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Gigi, how was it? It was great. You had a great time? Yeah. Is this gonna go on your fridge? Maybe. Maybe, we got a maybe. All right, guys, I hope that yours is gonna go up, but that reminds me, do not forget to ask mom or dad to take a picture of your drawing and send it to Gigi and I at initogetherbz at gmail.com so that we can see. And also, my spotlight feature today goes out to Benjamin for drawing Raven along with Tristan and I. Here's a picture of his drawing, guys. Thank you so much, Benjamin, for drawing along with us. Please keep on drawing. This was amazing. All right, guys, so that is it for today's episode. Please join us again for another one. Bye. And just like that, we're one drawing closer to being art legends. If you're like me, this is a big leap forward from stick man drawings. So I'll be showing off my art. We will show off yours too if your parents take a picture and email it to us at the address on the screen. Now is a good time to put away our supplies and get ready for our next ultra fun segment. Kindly stay tuned while we take a short break. If you are like any one of us, you've probably OD'd on junk food during our time away from school. Learning from home has also meant relaxing for long hours on the couch, binging on Fortnite or TikTok or cartoons. And it's honestly time for us to get more active again. So hopefully you have on your exercise clothes and your comfy shoes so we can get our bodies moving with DIY exercise. Good morning once again, I'm Karen and this is James and we are here once again to guide you through some easy exercises that you can do right at home in your living room, bedroom or even the yard. Today we are focusing on calisthenics, James. Now what is calisthenics? It's literally working out with your own body weight, meaning you don't need any weights, you don't need any towels, you don't need anything. It's just everything you're doing, it's your own body weight. So that's what we're doing for this segment. So let's warm up. Say hi, James. Hi. <laughs> let's go. One, you should warm up like at least 30 seconds. I want to dance, I want to dance. Three, two, one. Let's go. Arms up, remember that? Front and out. Ready? Go. Up, front. Three, up, front. Up and gym, up to your foot. Up, <laughs> front. Nine, up, front. Twelve, up, front. Fifteen, up. Front, 18, up, front, 21, up, front, get warm, 24, <laughs> up, front, 27, in three, two, one. How was that? That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we start with our football swings. We'll do right leg first. Remember that? Left, then left, right? So it's 15, in three, two, one. Go, one, kick the ball, 
two, three, you can use your arms to people, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, remember to breathe, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that feels good. Next leg. One, two, swing it out. Three, four, five, six, seven, kick the ball. Eight, nine, ten. Five more, James. Five, four, three, two, one. That, how do you feel? Good. That, you like that one, right? Hand rolls. Remember the type, ball type? Ready? One, let's go. Up in your face. Two, let's go, guys. Four, five, six, seven. You can move eight, nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two, one. Now we go to reverse. Let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, four more, three, two, one. Shake it out. Let's go to the legs and do some lunges. Ready? That's guys. One, then the next, right? So let's do that. Go. One, two. Remember to breathe. Three. James Young, so he's going way down. Four, <laughs> five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, almost there. 17, how do you feel, James? Good. 18, <laughs> 19, 20, 21, 22, <laughs> 23, 24, 25, 26, almost there. 27, almost there, right? 28, 29, and 30. Yeah, let's shake it out. Rest time. When you're resting, you can grab a glass of water, um, just take a little stretch, do something. So moving into what is known as our regular jobs. Ready? Open up and we punch, right? Let's show them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. James, you all punch me. <laughs> Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Work that waist. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 29, 30, yay! So we move back, you notice we are doing up and down. So let's do this side, stepping side lunges, ready? So let's face each other, James, so they could see really good. Go, so you, your right and my right, right, go. One. Two. This is a good exercise for adults also. Four. Five. Six. Helps the inner thighs. Seven. A little bit of cardio. Eight. Nine. Ten. Tuck in. Eleven. We have a long way to go. Twelve. But these people are fit. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, James Singer, way low, 17, good, 
18, 19, 20, 10 more people, 10, 9, 8, 7, how you feel? Good. 6, <laughs> he always feel good, 5, <laughs> 5, I think I'm miscom, 4, 3, remember to tuck in again, 2, and I guess last one, or brata, right? How was that? Good. Your elbows are this way, no. <laughs> All right, lifted elbow, triceps. Remember this one? Triceps, triceps, triceps. Ready? Set, go. One, two, three, squeeze. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, squeeze, 15, 16, tuck in, 17, 18, your tummy, 19, 20, only 10 more, 10 more gyms, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and yeah, 1, shake it out. Okay, so we have, now we have some squats, remember? That, guys, let's show the, the people watching how that goes. Just squat. Ready? Set. Go. One. Straight up. Two. You could open your foot and keep it like that. Three. Then come up. Four. Five. Good gym. Six. Let's go, guys. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we have 15 more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, five more, four more, three, two, and one. We get, to, we get to rest a little bit. Rest up, folks. Grab a sip of water. Five seconds more. Four, three. How are you feeling, James? Two, like you could do a whole lot more, right? One. So, arm um, circles. Ready? Like this, right? So, guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Your arms heavy, right? Thirteen, right? Fourteen, fifteen. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Shake it up. Slow I'm just I like know. <laughs> you heard what James said, slower is more painful. Okay, so to the, right now we are going to be doing some jumping jacks. You're the young one, so you are going to be doing real jumping jacks. And it's going to be max skipping and jumping jacks. So 15 jacks and 15 skips with a break in between, right folks? Let's go, let's do this, jacks. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six for the mommy, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yay! Mark skipping. We're gonna be grabbing the imaginary rope and skipping. Ready? Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Yes. All right. No. Let's let's guys breathe and waist twist. One, two, three, four. Make sure you concentrate. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 9, 8, 7, 6, well, let's slow down, 5, yes, 4, 3, 2, and yeah, 1. Okay, last one. And you said you know this one already, the leg, the side leg raises. So we'll do, right? Ready? Guys, you lift and lift. So we'll do 16. One, two, three, four, right? Ready? Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Shake it out. Shake it out a little bit. Stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one, and let's go down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. One, two, three, four, five, straight up. Guys, that was real fun. Drink some water, eat your fruits, and meet us next time for the same thing, just a little bit more dif difficult and different. Thank you. Bye. Well, we just had to quickly freshen up because Miss Karen helped us to bust a sweat just now. Being physically healthy is important for us, especially when we're inside for almost the entire day. Hopefully, you enjoyed that mini session. The sweat is worth it. You're probably out of breath right now, so we will take a little commercial break so we can wind down a little. Enjoy some water and maybe take a quick stretch before we move into the next segment for today. Please stay tuned so we can end off how we started. In it together. Be right back. Hello everyone. Do you think that being sad, angry or worried really affects the mind? I think so. Quarrels and fights and bad news really bother me. So I believe it's important for us to address those things that bother us. Our guide will now help us to do so in this fun segment that we call Peace Out. Check it out. Hello boys and girls. I am Miss Young and I'm happy to be back here with you today. Has someone ever yelled at you or told you no for something you really wanted? When this happened, did your chest feel tight? Or maybe your tummy started to hurt? Or did your head feel hot? All these things happen to us when we are mad, sad, or afraid. Sometimes it is not always easy to go back to feeling like our regular self. So I want to create a glitter jar with you today that you can use to go back feeling like your regular self. I want you to grab an adult who can help you with this glitter jar. To make this glitter jar, you'll need a jar or a bottle, some water, glue, and some glitter. I'm going to use glitter glue because I want to make it real sparkly, but any glue can work. So what we'll do, we'll take our jar, we'll take the lid off, and we're gonna pour some water in this jar about halfway. Next, we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna put some glue into it. So you're just gonna go ahead and squeeze that glue in there. Then, we're gonna add some glitter to it. So I'm gonna open my glitter and I'm just gonna sprinkle some glitter in there because I want it to be real shiny and sparkly. Awesome. Once you've added all those, I want you to pour more water into it until it almost reaches the top. But don't pour too much. Then I'm gonna close this jar and make sure you're closing your jar or your bottle real tight. 
Once we finish, we're gonna shake it all up. So you're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. Isn't that fun? Now, this is the cool part. After you've shaken your jar, I want you to put your jar on the table, or if you're on the floor, put it on the floor in front of you. And then I want you to watch as the glitters slowly settle to the bottom of the jar. I want you to watch the glitter settle and then slowly breathe in and out as the glitters fall to the bottom of the jar. Do you see how the glitters are slowly falling to the bottom? Continue watching it until all the glitters reach the bottom. While you're doing this, your body should start to feel a little lighter and more relaxed. You can keep this jar with you at home and use it anytime you're feeling mad, sad, or afraid. Shake it up so all the ingredients get mixed up and then watch as the glitters settle so you can feel calm. That's all for today's show, guys. I hope you had fun making this glitter jar with me. Bye. After that session, I think it's clear that talking about what we are feeling is very important in making sure we remain happy and able to focus on learning, growing, and having fun. It even allows us to know what our parents are feeling so we don't feel too sad when they seem worried or annoyed. I wish I could be around a little longer, but this segment ends now, guys. So I have to say, peace out. So that wraps up In It Together for today. Remember, this is a special show dedicated to us. Schools are closed, but we can still learn together, play together, dance together, draw together, and have endless fun together. With our TVs or tablets or phones, we can link up in a productive way. And it's also a big change from just being at home, idling for most of the day, which has gotten really boring. Remember, this show, Just For Us, will air every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 in the morning until midday. We air on Channel 7 all over the country and on Facebook at In It Together Belize. Please tell your friends and family members to join in on the fun. We are going through some pretty weird times, but don't worry, we'll get through this because we're in it together. Thanks for tuning in today. was brought to you by the Ministry of Education and UNICEF.